What is going on my reefing fam? March here and Dandy, our new bulldog. Hello, actually it's Mike's new bulldog. Mike got another one. I am in love. Today's video is going to be all about you. Screw the corals, screw the aquarium, sit your bum down. Oh my god, this dog is amazing. Absolutely love the well, I'm just going to show you. Tia is going to be setting up this soon. This is something we've been working on. Wait, what is this? You brought me the punch. Oh, that, that, that. Oh, virgin, none in the tank. Just take the cases to the tank. We've had people here that frag in the past. We call them butchers. This is the opposite of the butcher. This is the surgeon. Let me give you a little update of what's going on here in the store. We're back from California. That was fun. I've arrived. They're here. Look at this. Floor to ceiling. Starting to look for a bigger store, more space. Can't even walk. Look at this. Aquariums, 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 aquariums. Everywhere. Literally have taken over the store. Absolutely everywhere. If you don't know what they are, uh, you must be new to the channel. Hello, these are the Studio 12s from Reef Casa. I will link in the description where you can grab one, but they are finally, finally here. The team did a fantastic job while I was away. We have an awesome group of staff here going right now. Probably the best collective team we've ever had in the store. And when I come back, whenever I'm gone, the first thing I do is I come downstairs and I go and take a quick look at my favorite, my current favorite coral, which are these, the Atomic Bomb Hammer. I'm absolutely in love with these. They're, they're really cool. I'm trying to grow a couple other varieties over here. So whenever I see a cool hammer, I'll kind of just put it aside and see if I can't get it to grow. But man, these ones, awesome. Do you have a coral like that? Maybe link in the in the bottom or comment. Is there something that when you go to the tank, first thing in the morning you go to see if that one is still alive and doing well? This is also in the basement uh, where we kind of farm and grow some of the uh, corals we offer here. We call it Frag Box Cultured Coral, FCC. So all these little ones you see here, all grown here in lovely Toronto, Canada. Look how many there are. Lots of corals. Absolutely love those. Well, I'm just going to show you a couple more while we're down here because I'm not in the basement too often. So I'll just kind of pan over some of the stuff we're growing. These are my favorite species of corals, which are zoanthids. Really, really love those. As you can tell, they do well for us. Lots of flow. Medium light. Love these. Lots of different varieties. So many different colors. Tia is going to be setting up this soon in the store. It's a 0.3 gallon, one liter with a sump. I don't know if you guys have seen this. It's like serious Pico. This is beyond Pico. This is just like a little fun project tank. Apex ELs on sale right now, 15% off. Why? Because there's a new Apex Pro. If you haven't seen these already, all new Apex. This is available if someone's looking for a nice 20 gallon drilled. It's $4.99 comes with the stand, we already have it drilled for you with the E-clop, uh, E-clops, that's not a word. What am I trying to say? Eclipse overflow, and it's on top of a Red Sea stand. So you get a Red Sea stand with a custom made tank that's ready to go $4.99, $4.99, pick up in store only. This tank is coming along nicely, and check this out. Look at all these fun new things we have. So those Studio 12s that we're offering soon, eventually we're gonna have them as a kit. So it's not just the tank, you can buy it as a complete saltwater kit with the sand, with rock, with salt, with filter floss, carbon refractometer, hydrometer, um, starting bacteria, ammonia chloride, a light, everything you would absolutely need to get a new saltwater tank up and running all in one. This is something we've been working on almost, I want to say nine months now to kind of get all of it going. We haven't really been talking about that because we've been talking so much about the tanks. Stands are still prototyping. I know a lot of people have been asking us about that. Uh, they are on the way. We just want to get them right. We don't want to just come out with stuff for the sake of coming out with stuff. This is looking really good. The team, um, there were four guys here. Everyone's watching it. And yeah, it looks pretty good, except I see oh, one little issue here. And you know that on the channel, I always want to show you the good and the bad. The good is I got a sand sifting starfish. The bad is he's missing an arm. I don't know what happened. The good is my acans look really happy. The bad is uh, right there. You see, I'm kind of zooming in. You see, can you see it? The white, the skeleton, the little bit of tissue. That's my favorite A-can in the tank. I don't know why. A-cans usually do really well for me. It looks like it could have got stung. That's my first impression, but there's nothing really around it that can sting it. There's another A-can there and there. So it's a little bit weird to see exposed skeleton in that one spot. I don't really have an answer as to why, but we'll go back to the good. We'll get over the bad. Look at my sewer Sonoy. Check this out. This is a coral that I've had trouble keeping in the past. It's not the easiest and I got a little bit of growth coming. See that little hand sticking out right there? So it would be nice if you grow here on the tips like a normal acro, but they don't always do that. Sometimes you'll place a piece and they will grow wherever the heck 
they damn please. So he's decided that he's gonna grow here. I have a similar experience with one other piece, which is the Tyree Pink Lemonade. See this guy here? Right there, that one, Pink Lemonade. Yellow base, pink polyps. I'd like it to grow again from the top. Oh, sorry for the blurriness, but it's not. It's gonna encrust, and then in my experience, it's gonna like shoot out from the bottom, like maybe, uh, where's my finger? Off to the left, somewhere there. And I'm thinking about taking these clowns out. So I added these recently, but they are, I think, over hosting the, the hammers in here. I'm used to seeing them a little bit more plump, a little bit happier, and these guys, I love them. They're, they're nice fish, but I think we may have a little bit of a hosting problem where um, I call it overhosting. That's not the technical term. What else? How else can you say it, Matt? Other than overhosting, right? Yeah. yeah, that's that's what I call it, overhosting, or I don't know if there's another way to say it. But basically, they they're not the brightest. They think they're enemies, and then they swim and host all day and end up kind of bothering the coral. So I'm on the fence. Oh, I see one more little issue. Huh. Look at that, my blue branching hammer missed a head. This kind of happens when you have a lot of corals in the tank. Um, kind of happens. I'm running into a little bit of Aptasia issue, but we're on top of it. We're Aptasia Xing it. I want to talk to you today about some of the new corals we have here in the tanks, specifically the acro. So if you saw the video when we brought in the Australian acro, and I always say, um, let me just turn off the flow here with my trusty Apex. Hello, Apex. I'm going to get around to installing the adaptive reef. Um, pieces shortly. I bought these like a month ago. I've just been really busy and haven't had a chance to hook them up. But instead of using that, you just press a button and go to feed mode A. So what I was saying was, oh, man of the hour. Hello. Quick, what's up? You're on YouTube. This is one of our, our favorite favorite customers uh, here in the store, Mr. Quake. So I'm always complaining about how Australian acro come in very bleached. They don't look good. They need time. They got to recover and color up. And we're finally getting to that point where I'm, um, I'm starting to see some really good color. So you see this here, shortcake? This did not look like that when it came in, not even close. And it's getting that nice green base, red polyps. If you're not into acro, I'm sorry, maybe I'm boring you a little bit here. I'll move on to some other corals shortly, but I just want to show you how nice these are finally starting to get. And you just gotta be patient, sit on them, and they almost always come like that. They come bleached, and then they come back. I was in LA, we went to go see a wholesaler, Route 66. It's probably one of the coolest videos I've ever shot. I'm gonna upload it soon. I just wanted to do this update video first. His acros do not come in bleached from Australia. They come in freaking fantastic. They come in deep, rich color like this. Like this took me a month to get to this point. Why? Because in LA, they can get a direct flight from Australia, so they need simply one flight. Here in Toronto, we gotta go uh, Australia, to Hong Kong, to Vancouver, to here. So three flights, and it's usually well over two day transit time. So they end up coming like this. Very, very bleached. This one has still not recovered, and this one is actually finito. This guy is gone, goodbye. Sorry, my friend, that we took you out of the ocean to come die here in Canada. Not nice, part of the business, part of the hobby. Au revoir. Like I said, I'll show you guys the good, the bad, and the ugly. Quake, what is this? You brought me lunch? Quite a few things. This is, looks like a falafel. This is a shawarma. What is it? Oh, Monty. It's a, it's a grafted Monty. All Monte. the stuff he doesn't want. All the stuff that grows oh, like crazy. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Quake one day is gonna invite me to his house to actually record his tank, because he has one of the nicest. Oh, I spoke too soon. What the heck is this? You grew, you grew it? Yeah, I should try to break it in. Oh my god, it. check this out. This is cultured, 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 cultured. Hammer? Frog spot. In branch and handles. Wow. Started off with one head. Now check I, I this can. Out. Beautiful. How long did it take you to grow it? It doesn't take him that long, man. Oh, he knows what he's doing. It doesn't take him that long. Quake has a very nice tank. He's a very experienced hobbyist, experienced reefer. Uh, mixed reef, right? A little bit of everything? A little bit of everything, but I'm trying to switch more to SPS. SPS. He wants problems. He, uh, his, <laughs> life is, his life is too easy. He's looking for headaches, so he wants to get into SPS. You hear that, reefers? Wow, that's really nice. This makes me so happy when people can actually, you know, buy a piece. Was it from us originally? No, this is probably had this uh, uh, strain wow. since 2014. 2014. This is some old coral. Check this out. Amazing. Today's video feels like just one big old sidetrack. So I hope you guys like it. It's turning into very much a vlog. Let's stick them here. How much did you want for them? Like five bucks each? <laughs> Screw you, March. Um, if you have corals that you want to trade in, don't. We don't want them. I'm just kidding. Uh, usually send us an email. We're pretty picky. Quake only brings us nice stuff, so we, we don't ask for emails. And then we do a store credit. So this is going to help them 
pay for some of the hobby, keep his wife happy, keep the kids happy. Okay, what else do we have? Those are nothing fancy. I just break them up. It's they're stunning my uh, Hollywood rapid, stunner. You're, you're yeah. My this thing grows like that, a weed. That's, that's Quake said free. My favorite type of coral. Free shit. Uh, can you, can what you else? fill it? Yeah, sorry, sir. Give more, it to someone. But, more free? Yeah, but this is the Grafton Monty that it was stunning. Diggs, what do you think? Should we take him in? Should we take him in? I know you don't have any Grafton Monty here. I do not actually. Grafton Monty. Do you eat out of this Tupperware after? No, no. Okay. These are just for my corals. Dedicated coral Tupperware. Let's see what we have here. This is great. Got off the plane, come to work, it's like Christmas. Grafted Monty. So what this is, is Monty Pora Capricornis. We just call it Monty Cap. Super, super thin, very easy to frag, and it's grafted. So it's pretty cool. You actually have two different strains fused into one. Did you graft it? You got it grafted. I got it grafted. Yeah, some people, some people are able to graft it. I've tried in the past with no luck. This one actually looks pretty cool. This is not just your standard green. It's got green with, oh, uh, can you see on the video? Yellow polyps. It's actually pretty sweet. I believe that was the, the oh, corals. hello. Look at these disgusting brown. I don't want these. <laughs> Who would want these? Ugly. I'm just kidding. These are beautiful. And those are what we call Iron Man mushrooms, which are a sort of disco soma, which uh, disco mushrooms. We just call them mushrooms. Out of all the mushrooms, these are the easiest to keep. They seem to grow pretty good for you, huh? Yeah. yeah. Well, my son. That's what my son is. Oh, and the sun. Under what kind of light? Um, AI. This is good. Quake is giving us a lesson today on how to grow corals in the sun. Oh. Just like One two more. more off the rock. You don't want to forget any of these. These are great. Cultured coral. Actually, these just came in yesterday from a friend here locally. He brought us some forest fire digitata. That's my favorite of all the Montes. You get that green base with the red polyps. We just kind of fragged them up so they're a little bit closed. Um, so they look a little a little nicer usually. They're just a little pissy. A little this, pissed off. I'm going to borrow your saw because this is a convict. True convict chalice. Wow. But the Monty grew over it and you receded this. So I just want to. You want us to cut it? Just cut it for me. Okay. Well, you know what? We'll get that on camera today, too. This is great. Great sidetracked, impromptu video Sorry. about everything and nothing at the same time. No, it makes your content is king. What else you got? Uh, no. You're still watching until this point. It means you're a true reefing fan. Hmm. I just stuck Otter, that. I have a around. Utter chaos zoantids. You hear the phone ringing? So if you know the, sh the sh these episodes are shot live. Um, often with very little planning. Sometimes the phone rings. Sometimes people walk in with corals. And this is Aquaman. They just yeah. stuck there. And yeah, that Aquaman Monty? Yeah. Nice. It actually killed my, uh, my friend. So, killed my Walt Disney. Oh, this killed Walt Disney. The big one. Crap. If you don't know what Walt Disney <laughs> is, we're not talking about Mickey Mouse. It's a top of, it's a type of Acropora that usually runs, here, we're here in Canada, so I would say 500? Yeah. About 500 bucks for a small piece, so unfortunately that type of coral cannot touch Monty and Quake has experienced some losses. Everyone thinks, you know what, you, this is what a nice guy, look at all these corals he's bringing. This is all the shit he doesn't want. This is all his overgrown, the don't, stuff, don't tell, don't the, tell people, yeah. that's the truth. These aren't his favorite pieces. This is the stuff he, he grows so much he's got to give it away. Here, it's free. And this one killed my this one killed my Walt Disney. You want a piece of Hollywood Stunner? You want to take a piece with you? I don't have. I, I just started my. Uh, this is a weed. That's. I'll show you. This is a weed. Still, I'm just kidding. I'm just bothering you. We appreciate all corals. All corals are nice corals, except for pulsing Xenia. That stuff's from hell. That's it. That's it. Look at all this. Do you have a photo we can show the, the reefing so, fam? I think we've, I think we've showed people on the channel. So this before. is just the hammer, like the background, right, in my tank. How about the actual tank? Um, I'll Hold show. On. Let me turn this off. Yeah, I don't know. If we're gonna make this a family-friendly episode. So this was just me taking some of it out of the tank. Nice. Yeah. I want to come see it one day. I will. And yeah, just straight out of the tank this morning. Nice. Making room for something in particular. No, I just had to prune because it was a... Uh, just time? Time was to, it was pushed against the glass. Dylan over here is working on some Forest Fire Digi Frags. Those will be available on the site. That one looks really good. That's a great example. That's what I'm looking for. Boom. I don't know how no one has taken this elegance yet. Oh, maybe they don't have the room for it. It is quite big. And you know what? I just got a really interesting phone call from someone in the US that asked... Um, let me try and explain what he said. He doesn't have... Hmm, the website, the corals that we have, 
but there is a large demand. So we're talking about perhaps maybe somehow, still early in the conversation, to ship these down to him. And then if you want some of Fragbox squirrels, you'd simply purchase them through him and he'd ship them to you. Maybe like a little US American sort of base for some of our stuff. I don't know, very early in the conversation. Don't get too excited. I don't know if it's gonna go anywhere, but it is worth talking about. My friend who owns Refraft here in Canada set up something very similar years ago with a company called Two Guys Corals. That ended very, very poorly and they are no longer there. So they're Refraft USA, but there's just no association with Refraft Canada. So I don't, you know, I'm very careful with the name the brand's taken 12 years to build. So I'm not just gonna go throwing it around um, just for the sake of selling corals, because we do sell a lot here. Just thought that that's cool. And if it, if it leads to more, then we'll keep you guys posted on that idea. This is a rock. I know it's not that exciting, but I just wanna show it to you because I am taking one of those Studio 12s home to set up on my desk and I'm starting to collect pieces of rock um, here in the store. And I don't know why this one's speaking to me. Let me, I can show you here in the light, very alive. I like the sponge on it. And I'm gonna be using psh, secret tap water at home. I'm gonna be using tap water. I'll explain more as we get into it. Oh, coral virgin, none in the tank. So he's taking some zoas today and we're gonna send him home with a little piece of this uh, Hollywood stunner as well. How big is the tank? 20 gallon. Oh. I got the 90 downstairs. I'm gonna give you a piece of this Hollywood stunner chalice. Grows really, really well. Yeah, try it out. That one's on the house. Oh, thank you. Yeah, good timing. It came in right, right day, right time. No, say thank you to Quake. This is looking fantastic. This is our Red Sea Reefer 250, the Sky LED. I'm almost ready to just uh, do a video, just a whole recap on the thing in general. This is a very mean fish though. We tried to add some Scopus, did not happen. I guess, you know what? Maybe that was a little bit irresponsible on our end. Actually, look at this. Anyone, do you see the yellow Fiji? Yeah. Massive. If somebody wants a piece, I think it's safe to say it's, to uh, it. yeah, it's ready to cut. That thing has really exploded. And our poor clam actually in there is a little crocea clam. He's getting completely, completely smothered. Hello, fishy. Check these out. These are about four months. They've been in here and completely just taken over the rock. I really, really like the Neptune sky. I'm in love with this light. And Neptune, if you're watching, the only thing I would say, if I could make one recommendation, is come out with a smaller one because you know, up 40, 50 gallons, great. If you got a little nano tank, how hard would it be to make like a little version of this? I think, nice. yeah, I think Maybe it would do it feels a, little cheap. a little bit. Yeah, I'm not crazy. This, I don't know why this moves. Yeah, just feels a little, a little cheap, but I, I do, I do absolutely love the light. A little one, a small one where you could use over a tank like that would be absolutely awesome. One last note on the aquariums and the stands. We have six prototypes in here, different colors, styles. Like I said, we want to get it right. We don't want to just come out with a regular stand. We're gonna, they're gonna be different. They're gonna have drawers, different colors, and eventually we're working towards built-in water change stations and ATOs right in the stand. Lots of fun and cool ideas. That's what happens when a hobbyist decides to come out with um, their own aquarium. Frag what, like into pieces? Yeah, just uh, maybe two or three pieces. Two or three? I would do four. Four? Yeah, I would cut it like, uh, yeah, in quadrants. I haven't been. Actually, let's, let's ask Dylan, what do you think? Fragmaster. Nice. No problem, man. That that Hollywood stunner, that chalice stings. Give it space from all the other corals. Give it a little bit of space. Yeah, yeah. We're turning into four, like yeah. Yeah, right across. One, two, three, four. Let's do it. Can we bring it downstairs. Choppy, choppy. Let's go. Let's follow the. Let's follow the surgeon. We've had people here that fragged in the past. We call them butchers. This is the opposite of the butcher. This is the surgeon. Okay, we're spending a lot of time in the basement today. Are the uh, our bandsaws? Where's Delilah? Daphne. What do we call her? Delilah. Hold on. Okay, we're renaming this one. J. L. I. A. N. Juliana. Don't ask why. Don't ask why. You know why. If anyone wants to know why, it's the last girl I was seeing. But she moved back to Brazil. She's gone. <laughs> It's okay, now every time I come to make frags, I will be reminded of her. What's Dylan doing here? He's taking some wet frag plugs, which is important. You want them to be wet. Um, why? Because they kind of bubble up if they're not. It's just, if you're ever gonna do any fragging, that's my tip of the day. Make sure they're pre-soaked for about 10 minutes. He set up the glue in advance. Looks like he knows what he's doing, bulk reef supply. Do you still want them on a bit of the disc or? Uh, no, not no, no, screw no. the disc. Screw okay. the big disc, yeah. Screw the disc. 
Be careful with Juliana. Okay, and now pizza. Cut the pizza. Little brittle star. Look at this hitchhiker. This is actually a good starfish. It's a detritus eater. It lives in the rock. Uh, uh, leftover food. If you ever see one of them, just leave them. They're, they're good to have in the tank and they reproduce quite rapidly. Damn, this girl has not wasted any time at all. It looks like we're past the diatom bloom, more or less. Ah, I see a little bit of algae there on the rock. Tia is not in today. She lost her car keys. She'll be back Monday. And then maybe we'll shoot a little update on this and we'll talk about California. Oh, look at that little sand sifting conch. It's looking really nice. Like I said, they are now available. We want to do a launch party though before we start to release them. So be a little bit, just a little bit more patient. A little bit, little bit. But uh, it should be fun. We're going to do a launch party here in the store, maybe an after hour sort of thing. We'll get some pizza, we'll get some beer. Maybe we'll give away one or two of those to our lucky YouTube reefing fam people. There's still a ton, ton of beautiful coral left from, oh, phone's ringing. Let's see what's up. Hi, Fragbox. Hi, sorry. Uh... That was interesting. He was asking if we're hiring, maybe later. Right now, we're, it's a little bit of our slow season, but as we get towards the busy season, tons of nice blastos and plate corals still left from that shipment. I think we have another one scheduled for end of September, once this starts to empty out again, and a huge order of Indonesian maricultured Acropora on the way. I think that's it for today's video. We're gonna wrap this one up. That was fun. I hope you guys liked it. Give us one of these. I know it wasn't very organized, but these things never are. That's kind of our style here at the store. You're never gonna see a script. There's never gonna be lights. You're never gonna get a gimbal. You're gonna have to do with our homemade shaky camera. It's just our style. We really appreciate uh, you guys watching though and love each and every one of you. I don't know why this urchin died under here, but we'll talk about it maybe another day. Have a good one. Bye-bye. ADD is a blessing, not a curse. <laughs> He almost, he almost forgot the chalice. Okay, oh, nice. This is the first one leaving the store. This is it. The first one. It'll never happen again. This is one of one. One of one. Number one. That's it. You don't know what I'm talking about. It's this. Our Studio 12. I'm so happy. First one. Congratulations. That's it.